I'm ready to start building the body of the bike. And to do that, I'm going to create a polyline. And we should note that that right back wheel, that back wheel on the right hand side, has been pushed back 30 millimeters. You'll see that a little later on. I've turned on show hidden lines. The reason why I've done that is that I can't quite see that opening on the front fork there. So that dotted line represents the tangential edge between the semicircle and the flat surface. So I can actually go a little bit higher than that. I can actually cut through that line if I wish, and it still won't interfere. Now thinking back to the sketch I created in Sketchbook Pro, I've modified my design just a little bit based on that. So I'm just kind of getting give myself an idea of where I'm heading. So down to this area, flat area for the seat to be created on and then bolted onto. The area where the axle will go through the back wheel and the body. Now I can go all the way up. Again, watching that bottom edge, which I can cut through, as I said before. That's fine. And finish it off. That's good. We see our shaded, uh, shaded profile there. Maybe just a little too thin through there. I might want to rethink that one. The weight of the rider is going to be through that area, so you want that perhaps a little thicker. I can now extrude that, and we're going to make that 20 millimeters, making sure it's a new solid. I don't want it to join on to the bike. Dragging it backwards, just in case it does interfere with the bike at this stage. Hide the sketch. Let's see, now you can clearly see the back wheel is offset now. And that uh, profile of the bike and that uh, extruded part of the body, sorry, is in a good position, so I want to be careful how I move it. I just want to drag it downwards until it snaps into the center. And there it is. That's looking quite good. Let's have a look at the front of the bike. Now you can actually see that the openings at the top there could have been a little bit better. Turn that to shaded to get rid of those hidden lines. I could have made it a little bit bigger. The bottom part looks quite good. So to finish this off, I need to add some fillets and then change the material. You've done all of these before, so I'll just show you how to get started on that. I've grouped them together. Going to my fillet tool, select edges, all the other edges as well. And it's done. Fillets are added. Material is added. Now, there's something missing though. There's no hole for the axle to go through down at the bottom. So how would I add that hole there? Well, you've seen this workflow before and that is I'm going to project. So up into my sketch tools, project, select the surface of the body and project onto it that hole. The wheel's kind of in the way. In fact, the, the whole bike will uh, be hidden here. So just hide that temporarily and cut a hole through there. The hole's going to be a cut, so I just drag it. It's like drilling a hole through something. You go further. Hide the sketch and bring back the bike again. Try that again. There we go. That looks good. So keep in mind that project. That's really an important uh, process for you to understand. Function 6 key to see the rest of the bike. Almost finished.